Hi theory students, today's topic are new cadence types. We have three types to show you. None of them are as important as the authentic or half cadences that we've studied so far, but each of these may crop up. We have a deceptive cadence, where 5 goes to 6, a plagal cadence, where 4 goes to 1 instead of 5 to 1 at the end of a phrase, or a Phrygian cadence, which is a kind of half cadence, where 4-6 goes to 5. Let's look at the deceptive cadence first. 5 goes to 6 instead of 1. This can be either at the end of the phrase, where we call it a deceptive cadence, or inside of the phrase, called a deceptive resolution. Let me show you the motion to 6, and then we can follow it two different ways. Here, we've got a progression that at the end, instead of 5 going to 1, 5 will go to 6. I'm going to follow this with a bunch of chords that go to an authentic cadence the way we expected the first time. And that was all one phrase, and there's the authentic cadence at the very end. So we would call that a deceptive resolution, since that's not actually a cadence, it's the middle of the phrase. Now I'm going to play the same two measures, except I'm going to pause on the sixth chord, and then I'll go back and play another phrase that has an authentic cadence. In the phrase I just played, the pause when we got to the sixth chord, and then going back and doing several of the things I did earlier, and filling in another two measures for an authentic cadence, made this sixth chord more like a deceptive cadence, rather than just a resolution in the middle of a phrase. So for both of those, that's a difference between the deceptive resolution and the deceptive cadence. The important voice leading thing is that the leading tone will still go to the tonic, but now we can't take the G up to A and the D up to E in the same voices because then we would have parallel fifths and parallel octaves with the bass going up a step. So even though leading tone goes to tonic, this voice goes down and that voice goes down as well. The result for the sixth chord is that we have a root, a third, a fifth, and another third. So that's an exception to our guideline that root position chords have doubled roots. You can see what I just explained here in the notes. The leading tone will go to the tonic. The upper voices, the other ones, will go down to avoid parallels. And therefore, the sixth chord will have a doubled third, not a doubled root. Sometimes, as part of a descending scale, whether it's in the bass or the leading
leading tone can go down when 5 goes to 6 instead of going up. Going to 6 is the most common kind of deceptive resolution. On rare occasions, you may actually have another chord that contains a tonic, like a 4-6, that could be used for a deceptive resolution, but those are much more rare than the 6 chord. Our second new cadence type is the plagal cadence. The plagal cadence will end a phrase 4 to 1. The 4 can be in root position, or it can be in 6-4 position, like a neighboring 6-4. This is very familiar as the Amen at the end of a hymn or chorale. So in something like this, where we have an authentic cadence, Amen. The Amen at the end of the hymn is the plagal cadence 4 to 1. This is more just like an extension of the tonic at the cadence, the authentic cadence happened over here. So that's the um. It's rare in classical music to have a true plagal cadence without an authentic cadence preceding it. But in popular music, this is really quite common. For example, in a 12-bar blues pattern where the typical harmony is 1, 4, 1, 5, 4, 1, that would be a real plagal cadence. would be a 12-bar blues pattern, and we've all heard things like that. Our last type of cadence is a Phrygian cadence. It's really a kind of half cadence, where 4-6 goes to 5 in minor keys. The origin of this goes all the way back to medieval and Renaissance music, where this was the final cadence that was typically made in Phrygian mode. In Baroque music, the Phrygian cadence will often be used as an ending for a slow movement to set up the start of the next movement in the tonic. Let me show you how this works in three voices and then in four with some embellishment. So we're in D minor and in three voices That's the half cadence, which of course may start the next movement. In D minor. When we're in four voices, we have to figure out what to double. So here, double the tonic in the alto and in the tenor. And now it's the tenor that goes down to the leading tone the alto goes up to fill out the V chord. When I add some embellishment, that makes that half cadence better. So we had our three cadence types. The deceptive cadence, where 5 goes to 6, 
whether it's just a resolution in the middle of a phrase or the end of a phrase making the cadence. The Phrygian cadence, a 4-1 typically at the end after an authentic cadence as an extension or expansion of the tonic. Think of this as the amen for our chorales. And the Phrygian cadence, a kind of half cadence in minor keys where 4-6 goes to 5, whether in the middle of a piece or the end of a slow movement to set up the beginning of the fast movement to follow with a tonic chord at the beginning of the fast movement. That's our lesson for today.